Again, a little further definition, in an existing market, incumbents exist, customers can name the market, customers want or need better performance, and it's usually a technology-driven play. Positioning is driven by the product and how much value customers place on its features. The risks in an existing market is thinking that the incumbents are dumb. Typically, incumbents, unless they're large corporations that are falling asleep, will defend their turf. Remember the network effects of an incumbent. It might mean that it's not only about their product, but it might be all the ancillary services and third-party offerings they have in their catalog. And remember, just as you're focused on innovation, most incumbents are focused on innovation. So before you jump into an existing market, you need to take a look at the innovation rate of the incumbents. Now, one of the interesting things is trying to figure out what sales look like and, and what's the adoption rate in a new market. It turns out one of the interesting curves for um, startup companies is a, a technology lifecycle adoption curve uh, popularized by Jeff Moore in a book called Crossing the Chasm. And Moore postulated that there was a gap, a chasm, between visionaries and the mainstream and pragmatic uh, and conservative market. It turns out, though, in an existing market, that chasm between these early adopters and the mainstream is very small or non-existent. Because if you're right entering an existing market, your sales curve, the spreadsheet you're putting together for your revenue, if you get it correctly, should look just like this. You're taking market share from incumbents from day one. In an existing market, if customers react to your hypotheses that what they needed was higher performance and you were correct, this is your revenue curve. Congratulations.